Miami Proud celebrating Black History Month. And this week we are shining a light on someone who lights up literally every room he walks into. The local author, Michael Woodward Jr., Miami born and raised and with an interesting message in his books. I caught up with him at a book reading where he was just fire. What color are the clouds? Raise your hand if your mommy or daddy reads to you. Michael Woodward Jr. is quite comfortable in the kindergarten classroom. The first animal that appeared in her path was the tallest of all. And he's clearly in his element with fifth graders as well. So I'm going to say college bound. You say no, college ready. He's a teacher first, author second, and always a student. It's what he learned from his students that inspired him to write. I saw my children struggle. There's only so much <clears throat> Frederick Douglass and LeBron James that they can read, and it's incredible because they're real stories. However, children need to utilize reader's theater. They need to see themselves in ways that the world may never show them. It wasn't that my children couldn't read, they just didn't want to. He took his love of reading and followed in his dad's footsteps, graduating from Florida A&M University and becoming an educator. He emphasizes the success of black and brown students starts with literature that reflects them in order to engage them. If a child does not have full advantage of the opportunity to read and does not enjoy that love for literature in that moment, it's an uphill battle. He self-published his first novel, King Monty, Are You My P.E. Teacher, which he reads to impressionable fifth graders. I did this because I had never seen someone who looked like me on a cover. I got tired of being the antagonist. I was tired of being the dunce portrayed within literature. I am King Monty. I am the only honors kid class who looks like me. You come alive in the classroom. I, I see the potential of a child, and while we may not know just how far they can take themselves. We're here to push. Like messages of kindness, like in Hare's Big Heart, to the importance of hard work in Forever a Scholar, Woodward's themes, settings, and characters are all tied to the mission. Children organically take up what it is that's presented to them. And if we continue to traverse down this path of the absence of culturally relevant literature, then we're setting them up for a demise. I think we need to take advantage of every opportunity to be in front of a child's life. Well, Michael already has 10 books, but he ain't done yet. Says his goal is actually 25, including one that features his favorite character yet. CBS 4's Miami Proud is sponsored by FPL. At FPL, we're always planning, preparing, and investing in an energy future Florida can depend on. See how at fpl.com value.